Hey everybody, um, what's up? My name is Mr. Penguin, and I'm today I'm going to be doing a little bit different things. I already uploaded today, but I figured I'd upload twice. So I'm going to be showing you how to build a dialogue system in case you don't know how to, and in case you really need to. So first thing, you're going to need an object. It can be any object at all. It does not matter what kind of object it is. It can be Kodu, it can be a rock, it can be a soccer ball. Just make an object. So, um, so when you're making a dialogue system, something that is heavily reliant on that is on making points. So I would recommend having a pretty extensive knowledge of the point system. But um, So you're gonna go to program and you're, it's going to be mo mostly when. So you're gonna do a timer and you can set whatever amount of times you have. You can have like the same amount of time for each one though. But um, if you like, it does, like you can have any amount of time you want. You just can't. You can like you just can't have two like four seconds if you want this to work effectively. So I'm gonna do maybe around three seconds, and I'm going to do game score and make sure you have different colors. If you mix up your colors, it won't work. So score blue, and let's make it five. Again, the points doesn't matter. It is very very important though that you use once. If you don't use once, what's gonna happen? is it's going to keep repeating that and it's going to just be very messy overall. You could make this a private score if you know how to do that. Um if you if you in case you don't know, it's um in game plus score and then it's in private scores in case you want to make it private, but for the sake of this video, you're not going to be making it private. So now you do scored blue and you have to do equals whichever amount you um, did. So I'm going to do five. So if I did five, then action, say, hello world, exclamation mark. Again, it is very important that you put once behind all of these or else it's going to say this more than once and it's going to get very, very messy really quickly. So now that you did your first bit of dialogue, which you can do is you can also go to a timer four seconds and now you're going to do the exact same thing but for different colors so i'm going to go to plus score red 10 now scored red equals 10 you do the exact same thing you did above so you see say classroom and you put all once behind it so now if we run our game hello world and as you can see we actually scored 10 because we actually made the timer too quickly so we're actually going to do a timer for five seconds so we're just going to do and now it works so another thing that's very important is that you don't make it like a second after because as you see there, the text box will not have time to disappear. Uh, I'm going to show you an example now of what you shouldn't do. So let's say, oh, I only want to make this character, I really want to make this character a dialogue speech, but I don't want to use points because it gets really complicated. So you would probably go see Kodu and then say whatever you want to say. I do not like that because the problem with the C command is that once you use the C command, you can't really control it because it's going to basically be saying when you're seeing Kodu because there's two things that are really broken in this game and one of them is blip range and the other one is sight. So you're basically saying if C Kodu, it says that, but the problem is with that command is that the whole time it sees Kodu, you're basically saying if I see Kodu, then say this. And you see, and if this character sees Kodu the whole entire time, it doesn't give enough time for the other text box to appear. So, really, even though it might be a little bit complicated, I would recommend using points and pages and all that. You could switch pages like after specific timers so that things don't get very mixed up. Like, say we get to like 60 seconds at some point. I don't know how you would manage to do that, but then you could just switch to page two and you could just reset everything basically. But um, 
Now, what if you want this to be like a cutscene? You want Kodu to say that in front of you, but you don't know what to use. So, um, this is actually a very simple solution. So, for your cutscene, you're going to add a rock, and you're simply going to change its height to around here. It doesn't matter where the height is, as long as it's in line with Kodu. And you also, um, you want to make it e-mobile, because what's going to happen, as you just saw there, is the rock is automatically going to fall down. So, like that. And now what I'm going to do is ignore this when. This when means nothing. I'm going to go to view, first person. And now you're going to see Cody. He's going to say his little text bubbles. But oh, look at that. You can't see his text bubbles. So sometimes you just gotta change the height a bit to, and, until you got like it perfect. Like right here, you still can't see it. So like. You really want to like experiment around, like make sure you have the right height. You want to make sure you can still see his face, but you can also see the text bubble at the same time. So around there would be good. And now what you're going to do is you can add any other map objects you want, any other this, any other that. And it's a very effective way of creating a cutscene in Kodu. Again, it doesn't matter which object it is, as long as in the app add object it can say that it can be literally a tree it does not matter so i hope this helped you if you got stuck in any way on kodu you couldn't figure out how to make your character say different things i personally had struggles with that until i figured out how to do it um because one of the main problems with this game is um creatables site and a blip range those three can be very hard to do especially creatables because the problem with creatables is that you can't really code them all well so a dialogue system like this is very important if you want a good game in kodu because with a dialogue system like this you can actually make your game more and, and like and another really cool thing you can make it so that i'm just going to do this really quickly scored black i don't know let's say Wait, no. Timer. Let's see, ten, 10 seconds. And now let's do game plus score. Black this is another thing. I just think it would be cool to show you. No. Scored. Black. Equals. 10 you could make it so that it switches to page two and on page two it so this is something i use a lot in my games but you can make it switch to page two and then you could go to i believe combat uh, let's just make this um, C rock combat knockout. So now you could go to this rock and you could say, Oh, if I see Kodu knocked out, view ignore. And then you can make this one say change height, maybe around here. And then you want to make it a mobile. And then you can say C Kodu knocked out view first person. So this is going to be the last part for the video, but basically. If you want this to like change, oh yeah, we can also make this invisible so that's not in our cutscene. Right here, invisible. So now, it's going to save the dialogue. It's going to save that. Let's wait five seconds. Oh wait, I see what I did wrong. Uh, we need to make a timer. Switch. 
page two. Timer for a second. Mm. 1.1.35 seconds view ignore so now this should work I've used this before hmm that is weird I'm just going to fix this really quickly hmm maybe be the problem is it's doing at the same time. So timer, three seconds, view, first person. Now that should work. Let's wait five seconds. Okay, well, that last part of the video did not work whatsoever. I don't know what went wrong, but you get the point, you know? You know how to code, now you know how to code point systems and you know how to kind of change this camera angle. I don't know what went out there. I don't know why it was not working. Uh, I've had that happen before. It's very glitchy sometimes, but um, I would recommend like putting something that changes its size once that comes up and when you click on it, it automatically brings you over there, that's just me. But um, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, um, make sure to like and subscribe because I hit 34 subscribers. And please make sure to like and subscribe if you also want more of these tutorials. And um, let me know if you want, like, if you need help with dialogue, if you need help with creatables. Just leave a comment and I'd be happy to do that. So, bye.